uh, in this uh, topic, uh, this is the final part uh, related to how to handle a uh, process models with uh, uh, long um, dead time or long delay. Uh, we may encounter this uh, uh, type of process models uh, rarely in industry, but uh, it's uh, uh, we should have a strategy to solve uh, the problem regarding this uh, long delay time. Um, when the uh, delay um, dead time or the delay time of the process uh, model is uh, comparable or more than uh, the uh, time constant of the process, we need to uh, use some um, strategies to handle uh, um, the control um, control model. Uh, we uh, in this tutorial uh, we investigate a slow PID, MPC, and a Smith predictor. Uh, this is the final um, presentation, and I will explain the Smith predictor. Uh, the the other um, strategies are discussed in our uh, website. Uh, the um, Delta V tutorial with, with all uh, details are available there, but let me uh, show you. I think this is the uh, slow PID application, and uh, it's very time consuming, sluggish to uh, to have the process response. Uh, this is the um, faster the um, response with the fast PID. Uh, this is the MPC application. We use MPC uh, to uh, regulate uh, this type of uh, process, process models and uh, they are effective. But uh, in uh, this um, Presentation. I will focus on the Smith uh, predictor. Um, it's a it's a tool to compensate uh, the compensate the process value. Process value mostly have a long uh, delay, and we want to uh, compensate that and omit this delay for the PID controller to operate normally. This is a um, one application uh, publishing in paper uh, production industry, and in this example, uh, MPC is the, uh, is used. Uh, we will provide all those um, strategies available for you in the the uh, Delta V tutorial, and you can select one of them that is suitable for your application. Uh, a Smith predictor. Uh, the structure of the Smith predictor is uh, similar to uh, this picture. Your, mm, I will explain more about the each uh, section. This is the PID controller, the main uh, software PID controller. Uh, you can use the same strategy in. Uh, in all um, DCS and PID um, platforms, software. And, uh, software uh, this is software packages and platform you can implement this uh, strategy. So we have uh, the PID controller. This, is, uh, this box is the process model, um, the actual process uh, in uh, insight. Uh, we send the action on the control valve, MV, this is the uh, um, actual um, uh, the portion that is in the field. So uh, we need to understand and we need to estimate uh, this model. Uh, normally, uh, the process model with the uh, like uh, that time it has uh, uh, gain and time constant uh, for this part 
for this part, uh, this part we have the gain and time constant and uh, for this part we uh, should measure the uh, delay time how many delay time is more than uh, or uh, it's uh, mm, the time constant is very slow compared to that uh, the delay time you can now use the the embedded um, tuner uh, tools inside uh, those platforms you need to do the manual uh, use the offline tuning tools i will provide the link for one of those offline tuning tools that are available for android devices so uh, when we mm, find out the time constant and gain for the main model and the dead time for uh, the dead time section uh, we can implement this uh, structure in the uh, software so uh, this section and this section these are the uh, control blocks and, uh, and it uh, GM uh, represent the main uh, model the main process model without delay and uh, this section is related to the dead time only uh, this part in this uh, dashed section is in the field and the rest is the rest of calculation is in the uh, the programming uh, editor or programming platform in the DC so uh, it's very easy to implement and function te uh, function test is uh, a Smith uh, predictor mm, you can use it in Delta V in PCS 7 in uh, Yukigawa you can use all of uh, this structure in all of those uh, platforms so I will uh, show you how I implemented this uh, structure in Delta V before that we need to uh, find a tool to estimate um, our process model one of those uh, offline tools that I can introduce is uh, this uh, new PID tuner it's an um, Android application that uh, will uh, provide the, the the time and time constant and gain for any given uh, model process model it can estimate the first order and second order mm. and in some cases it's possible to estimate higher order uh, process models so i will mm, show you how i implemented this smith predictor in delta v and i will function test it it's very easy uh, mm, you but by using the very basic math functions, you can uh, create this model. So I'm back to the uh, delta v, and in uh, delta v, the set value is 50. I change the set value to 85, and let us check the result here. So, uh, this blue uh, curve is the compensated uh, process value. This red uh, uh, trend is set value. The green one is the action on control valve. And the actual PV, uh, this is the compensated PV. And the actual PV, uh, it, it has a very huge dead time. Uh, you can see that uh, we have a uh, much better response comparing to the uh, MPC, a slow PID, and even fast PID. This is the actual process value, and uh, you can see that the actual process value is uh, following the uh, set value, and all of the uh, uh, action control valve and all the uh, control uh, measurable control uh, 
parameters uh, they are all uh, normal and uh, acceptable so you don't have overshoot you don't have any undershoot the response is acceptable in this example time constant is 10 and that time is 44 times and uh, you can see that uh, this strategy is handling this case very uh, easily uh, let us mm, check the user program the user program is very easy you have the PID analog output this is the main filter uh, let me alarm pellet view status bar no so uh, this is the uh, main filter 10 second uh, for um, time constant this is the dead time for t here uh, the order of the blocks are very important here if you uh, uh, fail to um, select proper block ordering the response will be different uh, the first block is PID the next is all of that but this is the main uh, process simulation and this is the uh, main process value this is the next filter 10 and the time for T uh, this is the actual field uh, model and this is the compensated model and uh, here I just uh, mm, created some math functions subtract addition and fit the compensate this is the compensate all input and the compensate all input is uh, fed to the PID controller uh, in order to uh, check the order and set the order simply uh, from diagram select set order and uh, you need to um, select the proper order so let us let us check um, the response and it's very satisfactory you can see that this is the compensated uh, this is the actual uh, the process value mm, you have an uh, enduring task and you need to uh, calculate this uh, time constant uh, in this filter and this dead time here uh, in um, real application I told you it's possible to to do that by using the offline tuner online tuners are not suitable for this uh, extremely difficult uh, process models so uh, let me change the set value to 20 and uh, see the result uh, it's a very helpful tool to uh, to handle very difficult extremely dif difficult uh, process models in the uh, Delta V this is uh, the final part in um, this example and uh, we have very uh, different and difficult uh, uh, final projects in the Delta V tutorial part one. Please uh, check the check our website for uh, the syllabus and for the final projects. Uh, you can see that this is the compensated process value and this is the actual process value. The uh, it's working uh, perfectly. The quality of the uh, this predictor is. Uh, it's a reflection of proper estimation of actual process and that uh, actual process model and that time. So uh, you need to practice more. I will provide the file in the uh, uh, in the actual uh, uh, pro uh, in the actual uh, file regarding uh, this final project, and uh, you can practice. Uh, you can practice more to estimate the 
uh, the time to estimate the time constant and uh, gains and work more on these uh, um, topics so thank you for watching uh, if you want to uh, get uh, access to files and more uh, final projects regarding to the uh, delta v tutorial please uh, visit our website thank you